your breath an open sky It's not what we know It's where we go I grow wings and tell her goodbye oh, It's not what we see It's what we choose to be Hey guys, welcome back. So today is the final video of my Seasonal 7 series where I theoretically post seven videos in seven days, except this time I posted five videos in I think eight days. So just, just failed, okay? <laughs> um, now the plan has been last time and this time that the final video would be a vlog um, for various reasons and I failed again. If you've been following me for a while, you know I failed last time too. <laughs> So yeah, didn't do that. I filmed a few things, but nothing, nothing worth talking about. Yeah, so today we're gonna talk about the things that I've learned and the changes we have coming. I'm changing some things, again, adjusting, learning, adapting. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the lessons that I've learned this season. Also, there's so much construction on my road right now, so much. And I don't know if you can hear all of that, but they're just like literally bulldozers and chaos happening outside. And if you can hear that, I'm sorry. I, just, I can't do anything about it. Um, all right, so we're talking about the lessons that I've learned this season. Um, it all kind of came to a head here during this week um, and how that's going to result in changes across all platforms for me and what I'm doing and why. Okay, well, let's get into it. So the two major cycles that are two major lessons that I've been learning is one, uh, honoring my feminine cycles and two is energetic exchange. And the first one, the feminine cycles, I've been on this sacred feminine journey for like a year and a half now of like understanding and owning it, and blah, 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 and it's been a long, complicated process. <laughs> and um, I recommended the book Rise, Sister, Rise in my video earlier this week, which I stand by. And I also want to real quick thank Lisa, who sent me, I got it today. It was the Code Red book that I had on my wish list. Um, I literally decided yesterday that I was just going to have to spend the money on it and I didn't want to um, because I know I needed that book and then I got it in the middle of the day. So you kind of like literally answered a prayer. Thank you very much. I appreciate you genuinely. I need that book for sure. Um, the cycles thing though, here's the thing. I go through these natural highs and lows where I get really energetic and I have a lot of motivation and a lot of ideas. Like I want to film and create and photograph and I have so many plans and ideas and outlines and I could write for days and it's just, it's like a creative overload and I just become very like, ah. <laughs> and these are the times when I put together videos with like lots of B-roll and lots of graphics and good intros. Like I get really into it. I film a bunch of stuff and I'm really in the zone, right? And then there are, it goes from that all the way down into like, just savagely and with no regard, I will absolutely call your shit as I see it, like on the spot. And and I wish a motherfucker would. Just, <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> it's like, <ugh. laughs> it's very like, and it just, when I'm in the high point, I'm like, you couldn't upset me. Like everything's great, I love everybody, the world's perfect. And then like, when I come down here, there's just this like, you have the tiptoe. <laughs> if you say some dumb shit, I'm gonna be like, that was fucking stupid. It's just very rough, you know, and it's bad. And uh, I've always just kind of said that I have a really bad case of PMS, like a week before my period, it's bad. And uh, I didn't even actually ever notice it until my ex pointed it out where he, and he was good. He would be like, oh, I'm gonna start your period in a few days, huh? And I would get so mad and he was always right. <laughs> I was like, oh. Um, and now that I've been doing this journey, I have been watching it and I've been like, this is serious. Like, I will get on Facebook and just tear into somebody who posts something. Um, just, I have no, and I know, I know better than doing that. And I just have no self-control. And I'm just like, <laughs> so bad. Uh, and then, you know, when I, and then when I start my cycle, it's nap time. Like, I need chocolate and I need naps, Okay. And it's where I, I feel like writing, I'm very introspective, you know, and I've become very aware of these cycles. And the problem is I'm not honoring those cycles because the workload that I have decided for myself, um, if you're not familiar, if you, or if you don't know, I mean, there's no one helping me. Like I don't have a soul to help me. I shoot everything myself. 
I edit everything myself, all photos, all videos, all graphics, all the, I built my website. Like I do everything myself. There's no help <laughs> and it's a lot. And uh, in order to maintain that, I'm basically always running behind. I'm always throwing things at the last second and I'm, I'm never getting any ability to like actually honor where I'm at ever. And it's making me crazy. So <laughs> I've decided that I'm going to change the amount of content I'm putting out and the kind of content that I'm putting out. And I'm going to bulk process basically when I'm in my like spring phase. And then when I'm in my fall slash winter, like spring and summer phases, I'm going to create a bunch. And then fall, winter, we're going to take it down a notch. Winter, I'm probably going to just take a break. Like I'm hoping that I'll always have an extra piece of the content so that when my cycle hits, I can just basically take the week to honor it. That's what I want to do really badly, <laughs> really badly. Um, my cycle has become more and more intense. I'm becoming more and more synced. Like it's not even just the moon anymore. It's now the equinoxes and the solstices. Like it's so, I'm, it's so, my period is so in tune that it's crazy and I really need to like deal with it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one video a week. Occasionally there will be two because I can think of several instances where I need to do two. So occasionally there'll be like a surprise Wednesday video, but from now on out, it's going to be videos on Sunday. That's it. Just one plus one podcast a week because I've been trying to do two videos and a podcast. I fucking can't do it. It's too much, but I do like doing the podcast. So I want to do that more. One video, one podcast. Okay, cool. The other thing that I'm going to change is, um, if you're not familiar, I have a private Facebook group, um, at the Atlanteans, it's, you can find it. There's a link below, whatever. Um, in that group, I do bi-weekly zoom calls. Um, I've also been up until a couple weeks ago when I uh, added an admin so I could get the stuff done. I've been very engaged. I post in the group, um, several, I mean, I'm in it. I'm just in it. I do all the postings. I interact with pretty much everyone's posts. I'm in there. Um, so here's what I'm going to change on that. One is instead of, I can't, I can't. Okay. I'm going to get more into that in a second and about energetic exchange, stuff like that. But, um, just for the sake of how much I, I can do, I did not realize how much energy I was pouring into that Facebook group until I wasn't handling it. The last couple of weeks I've had Sarah, um, handling the group for me. Cause I was like, Hey, I'm traveling after the seasonal seven. I don't have time for this. Can you just help me out? And she took it and, it wasn't until that moment that I was like, oh, wow, that's a lot. Like, it relieved so much. Like, it was so much. And I didn't realize how much. Like, I was on there all the time. I was always making sure I wrote everything. I commented. I mean, I was super interactive all the time. And once she took it over, I was like, wow. <laughs> like, that's so much. Like, energetic relief. So, she's going to help me from now on. Um, and, or, and, and indefinitely maybe at some point she'll be like fuck you i'm out but for the for the, for the foreseeable future she's gonna help me i'm gonna handle the thankful thursday posts i might also handle the new members posts i feel like it would be nice just to say hi to the new members that's pretty much gonna be it i'm gonna handle those things i will occasionally probably a couple times a week or whatever get into the group go in there check things check i think i'm tagged and that kind of stuff but the all day, every day, coming out everybody, making all the posts um, and doing the bi-weekly calls can't happen anymore. Instead, we're going to do a monthly book club. <clears throat> so every month I'm going to announce a book and anybody who wants to get it and read it along with us. And then we'll do a monthly like chat. Like once a month we'll chat, we'll hang out, we'll discuss a book. That way we have a topic that we all have the same information on and we can talk about it. Um, I think that's how I'm going to do that. Plus I need to read more books. Um, so that would be helpful. So one video a week instead of two, occasionally two, plus seasonal seven. I think I can actually get it done in the fall this time if I have my workload situated better. One podcast, monthly book club instead of bi-weekly Zoom calls. Um, and I'm going to have permanent help in the Facebook group. So those are the major content changes. The other thing too I want to say about that is there's a lot of stuff I want to do that I have no time to deal with. And that's another problem. Like I really want to make courses um, I have several ideas. I've already kind of have them roughly outlined on like how to get into alignment to um, manifest miracles basically and how to find your life's purpose. And like, I want to make really high quality like courses 
And the plan as of right now is at least the first one to make it free as a test run. That's a whole different conversation, but I don't want to build a paywall. Um, but I have reached a point. I told you guys a few months ago that like I had enough money to get through for a few months to kind of build the channel up. Uh, I have reached that point. And I reached that point with flair because <laughs> at the point that I was like, all right, we need to make money now, everything collapsed. Like the car broke down, the phone broke, like all of this like monetary issue popped up simultaneously with it. And I was like, okay, what is it that I need to understand? <laughs> and it all kind of tied together. Oh my God, so much noise outside. It all ended up all kind of tying together with energetic exchange. Okay, so I was in California recently and it's for an ayahuasca ceremony, which you'll hear about more about very soon um, and more in the future as well. Um, it seemed like everyone wanted to talk about energetic exchange <laughs> and it's kind of been an ongoing message this whole season as well. Like exchange of energy boundaries, exchange of energy boundaries and understanding my flow. Um, I'm literally getting goosebumps right now. <laughs> so I know I'm like on it. The thing about it is a lot of you know, because you know, <laughs> I am incredibly, incredibly, um, like actively connected with anybody who is interacting with me. Uh, I get DMS and messages and comments and emails every day, all day. And I, have this like honestly I think it's remnant codependency and I thought I'd handled my codependency but I'm recognizing now that I think it funneled its way into this uh, because I cannot for the life of me not answer somebody <laughs> and I have people asking me all day every day for like help and advice and like what do they do and where they're stuck with their shadow work or like situations that they're having and listen I am not mad at anybody just to be clear and like I genuinely love all of you but it's become very clear to me that I can't keep doing that. That's part of my problem. Like I, the message that I've really come to understand is that I'm not using my energy efficiently. I'm so focused on making sure that each individual person who comes to me is like individually handled that I'm not able to like create like the courses I wanna create. I'm not able to create the digital content I wanna make. I'm not able to make higher quality, more informative videos or podcasts. Like I'm too busy helping each individual person. And as much as I want to do that, I can't, I can't do it. Not anymore. It's, it's really draining me. And I have just figuring that out. Like I keep taking breaks and I keep being tired. And yes, my cycle is part of it. But the other part of it is that I'm not efficiently using my energy. And, um, a lot of it is coming back. Like, thank you guys. I know you guys send me gifts and you send me Oh my God, love and messages. And I appreciate the shit out of it. But at the end of the day, I, I'm hitting this point where I need to start making money, right? This be real. I, that, I'm a single mom. I have shit to do. I've reached that point. And uh, also I'm fucking tired. And it's been this like, I have just been so like, let I me mean, just keep pouring and keep pouring and keep pouring. And it's not working. And uh, the messages that I've got is that I'm not, there's, um, it's bad exchange, right? Not bad, not that anybody's doing anything wrong. It's just that I'm not watching my own output. You know, it's, it's an issue. So listen, there are quite a few of you that I talk to regularly. I know what's going on in your lives. Like, listen, I'm not gonna be like, you can't talk to me anymore. I don't have time for that. It's not fucking happening. Like, I'm not gonna just dip on people, right? For those of you who I'm talking to regularly, and you know, if you do, you know it's you, right? There's a good probably dozen or so, maybe more of you who I talk to pretty regularly. Like, I'm not gonna stop talking to you. I'm not gonna be like, fucking no. But moving forward, like I already, a couple weeks ago, stopped responding to all the comments. For a long time, I responded to every single comment on YouTube. And now I'm reading them and I'm liking most of them. I can't even respond to all of them anymore because it just takes too much, too much like, um, it's, it's energy, it's what it is. And sometimes I do, like if somebody is like, I'm really lost in my shadow work on a shadow work video, I will stop what I'm doing and I will write out what question it is that they're asking me and try to help them. Like I'm gonna keep doing that for sure. But um, there's gonna have, there's gotta be less of it. There has to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my tarot readings, right? So right now I only have one option. It's $75 and it's one hour. But what keeps happening is that most of the people who actually do the Zoom call, because there's like recorded video that I can send to you if you don't want to do a Zoom or I can do a Zoom call. 
a lot, I would say at least half of the people who do Zoom calls with me, it ends up being about half chat. And I always run over and it's always like, it, it starts off with cards and we start talking and then it ends up them just, you know, talking to me and then me talking back. And it ends up being kind of a life coaching thing. And I've talked to a few people already who I've done this with and who have like tipped me afterwards or paid me extra. And I've gone to them and I've been like, hey, I would like your objective opinion. Please don't just be nice to me. Like I'm considering changing my plan so that I have a package that's like um, a life coach tarot reading kind of package where I just am like, if you want to just talk about your fucking life, talk about your shadow work, talk about what's going on with you. If you want to do some card reading and some advice stuff, we can fucking do that. It's going to be more expensive than a regular tarot reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cheaper, shorter tarot reading and then a, the, a longer version that's more expensive. That'll be for that. And if anybody, new people, whatever, start coming to me and being like, can you help me? I'm just going to have to be like, I'm really sorry, but if you, you can book a session, <laughs> I can't. But I can't, I can't just keep answering all these questions and everyone's messages. And um, I just can't. And uh, I'm sorry. I feel terrible about it. This is what I'm saying. There's like this weird guilt where I'm like, I, it's like a, it's like a codependency thing. I feel obligated. I feel like I have to. I feel like it devalues me if I don't help every single person who talks to me. But it's just, it's literally not practical. As the channel continues to grow, it's just not a practical thing that I could keep doing. Like at some point, it's gonna get out of hand and I think I've about reached that point. Um, so I, I don't know how to make this announcement, but like I'm done just giving out free advice all day every day and it's not to be mean, I'm just tired. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but like that's what it is. The thing that I, I came to realize is that, you know, money, is a frequency it's, it's energy and if I put it if I put these things in a realm where they're paid for then there's an exchange happening there's an energetic exchange it might be numbers in a bank account but it's just, it's an exchange of some kind and I think that's going to help everything kind of it'll be an even give and take so I'm not giving do you know what I mean and that'll help me energetically because I think it's really starting to wear me down Aside from the fact that I'm not honoring my cycles, these are the things that I'm working on. These are my personal things that I've been learning this season and that I'm working on, and this is how it's going to affect the channel. And more than anything, I just want to be able to make better content because I half ass a lot, uh, probably most, not probably, definitely. I definitely <laughs> half ass most of the things that I make for this channel. I'm half assing this right now. This is, it's, I don't know what time it is, but it's like six, seven o'clock at night. This is today's video. I'm gonna go edit it real quick in an hour and this is all up on YouTube. And I don't wanna do that. I want to spend time like planning shoots and getting lots of B-roll and making it really good. I want to make it good. And I wanna build courses and I wanna make digital products and I wanna write a book. And I have a lot of things I wanna do and I have no fucking time to do them. And on top of that, I'm tired. So <laughs> one video a week, one podcast a week, a monthly book club in the, in the private group. If you're not a part of the group, think below. And um, yeah, that's basically it. And I can't answer uh, all the messages anymore. I, I can't answer every comment. I can't answer every message anymore. I, it takes too much time <laughs> and energy. And, uh, and I need to make money. So I wanna make that a paid thing. Um, I've got a couple more ideas for how to create something of value. Uh, and I need to be able to spend time to work on that, which is the other last component where, I know that it's time for me to start pulling revenue out of this. Not that I haven't pulled any, but I'm not pulling enough to maintain my family. I'm running out of the like universe's saving grace that it gave me <laughs> to get through this and uh, to, to build it. And now that that's, I'm about to like hit this point where I need to start making this very lucrative. So I want to do that in a way that's fair and balanced and I need to be able to spend the kind of time that's necessary to to create things that have the value for me to make money. Just keeping it real with you. Like, that's what's happening. I want to do it well, I want to do it right. Right now I'm fucking tired. So, keeping it 100, guys, as per usual. <laughs> uh, that being said, I did just release a new podcast uh, today with my good old friend Jenna. The audio quality is a little subpar. It's my first time doing a interview. We shared one mic. It, it wasn't ideal, but... Uh, it's a really cool conversation, so link below to the podcast, and I'm going to start doing that every week regularly. I'm very excited about it. I like the format. And uh, don't forget, the uh, easiest way to support me is to like, subscribe, hit the bell, 
comment, notifications, notifications, whatever. Interacting with the content is the best, easiest way you can support me. Um, or turn it off your, um, if you have an ad blocker on, you can turn it off specifically for my channel and that way I get Google ad revenue. Um, yeah, so that's what I got guys. Uh, it's the seasonal seven series was a fucking, it was a rough one. I did not succeed. And, uh, but I learned a lot. It's been very, 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 very transformative. So we're gonna, we're gonna up things. We're gonna make things much higher quality. I'm gonna keep my sanity. But there's gonna be a little bit of distance that has to happen. A little less content, a little bit more distance in order for me to do all that correctly. And uh, I hope you guys understand. I love you all. See you in the next video.